Hey everyone, Emily with Bob's Watches. Today we're comparing the current No Date Submariner reference 124060 to the recently discontinued reference 114060 from the previous generation and highlighting the key similarities and differences between these two Rolex dive watches. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest video content. In September 2020, Rolex released an entirely new collection of Submariner watches, discontinuing all the existing models. Although the new Submariner watches look incredibly similar to their ceramic bezel predecessors, there are a few key differences that are important to keep in mind if you're shopping for a Rolex Submariner on the pre-owned market. First released in 2012 and remaining in production until 2020, the reference 114060 was the first no-date Submariner to be fitted with a bezel crafted from Rolex's proprietary Cerachrome ceramic material. Although it has the same 40mm case diameter as the previous generation of Submariner watches with aluminum bezels, the reference 114060 features the brand's super case that has significantly thicker lugs and larger crown guards, making for a noticeably larger overall appearance on the wrist. Inside the watch is the Caliber 3130 movement, which is essentially the no-date version of the tried-and-true Caliber 3135, and just like its date-displaying counterpart, it offers users a 48-hour power reserve. Although there are versions of the Caliber 3130 that are not chronometer rated, all of the ones fitted to reference 114060 watches are chronometer certified and include Rolex's proprietary blue parachrome hairspring. The reference 124060 is the current production version of the classic No Date Submariner that was launched in 2020 as a replacement for the reference 114060. Although it looks almost identical to its predecessor, the reference 124060 actually features a 41mm case diameter. However, its slightly slimmed down lugs mean that it wears incredibly similar to the reference 114060, despite the 1mm difference in case size. With that in mind, the most significant change to accompany the updated reference 124060 is the new generation Caliber 3230 movement. Based around Rolex's proprietary Chronergy escapement, the Caliber 3230 offers users an increased power reserve of 70 hours, along with featuring the brand's proprietary Paraflex shock absorbers that promise superior resistance to bumps and impacts. Just like the previous Caliber 3130, the new Caliber 3235 is chronometer certified and also features Rolex's blue parachrome hairspring. While the new movement signifies a major step forward for the Submariner collection, these two dive watches actually have quite a lot in common. Both the reference 114060 and reference 124060 are crafted from highly corrosion resistant 904L stainless steel, which Rolex calls oyster steel. Both feature blue glowing chromolite loom on their dials and hands, and both feature ceramic bezel inserts and flat scratch-resistant sapphire crystals. Additionally, both watches are exclusively offered in a single configuration with black dials and bezels, and both offer users the same 300 meters of water resistance. Furthermore, both no-date Submariner models feature the current style of solid link oyster bracelets with clasps that include the brand's innovative GlideLock extension system. This allows users to adjust the length of their bracelets in 2 mm increments up to a total of 20 mm, completely on the fly and without the use of any tools. At a glance, it can be almost impossible to tell these two no-date Submariner watches apart, but there are a few key differences that separate them. As previously mentioned, the new reference 124060 features a slightly larger case, although the actual difference between the two is less than 1 mm, and the thinned out lugs on the new model means that the difference in case size is even less noticeable than the already minuscule measurement might otherwise indicate. However, to match its larger case, the lug width has been increased on the new generation of Submariner watches, with the new generation measuring 21 mm, compared to the standard 20 mm lug width of the reference 114060. Additionally, to match the wider bracelet, the clasp on the new reference 124060 has also been made slightly wider. While this makes the entire bracelet more proportional to the rest of the watch, the small increase in bracelet width does give the new reference 124060 a slightly larger overall presence when on the wrist. Possibly the easiest way to tell these two no-date Submariner watches apart is to look at the dial signature under the 6 o'clock hour marker. The older reference 114060 will simply say Swiss made, while the new reference 124060 will have a tiny Rolex crown printed between the words Swiss and made in the same location. Beyond the slightly different case and bracelet proportions, the most significant difference between these two stainless steel Rolex dive watches is all under the hood, with the new Caliber 3230 offering a power reserve that is almost 50% longer than its predecessor. 
While these two Submariner watches are more alike than they are different, the slightly larger case and thicker bracelet may mean that one is better suited for your wrist than the other. Additionally, the longer power reserve offered by the Caliber 3230 may be the determining factor if it is important for you to be able to take your watch off on a Friday evening and have it still be running on Monday morning when you go to wear it next. Regardless of whether you opt for the reference 114060 or the new reference 124060, you will be getting a truly iconic timepiece and one of the very best dive watches available from the world's most famous and celebrated manufacturer. Thanks for watching our Rolex and Mariner 114060 versus 124060 comparison video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest video content.